What's going on, you guys? Kid me on a camera here. We're just here. And today is Tuesday. And I can't. I was gonna try to fool him. I was gonna try to tell him that the air is not working, but it, it is. Oh. It is. It's already cooling off. He just left. Oh my God, sweet air. Why are we out here? That was my thought. <laughs> let's do. Let's fix this. We're in the house now, just like that. There was magic. It we was, should go on Penn and Teller Fullas. I think I would have fooled him with that trick. It was flawless. I think so. I don't want to drag this intro out because I'm in too good of a mood to talk about other stuff. We've got air conditioning, folks. It's cool in this house. The dogs are feeling good. Bella's drinking water again. Clyde is chilling. He's eating. We've had air conditioning for about 15 minutes, and it's already feeling... I'm doing this until Bella stops drinking. It already feels so much better. And, oh, I'm thrilled. I got an itch in my nose. I'm cutting this intro down because I'm ready to get my day started in the cool air. You guys click like you want to see Grandpa eat the Whopper. You guys click like you want Bridget to do my makeup. We're going to do that today. But there's only one thing that I care about right now. Because yesterday I told you I had a plan. A plan that I was going to come through with when the air got fixed. A plan that I had planned all week and it's been sitting in my refrigerator waiting for me to take care of it. I'm talking about... Before we get to the meatballs though, you guys wanted to see it and I figured why not have my eyebrows on all day even when I'm cooking the meatballs. So, it's time to BOOM! Just letting you know, we gotta go to Walmart later. For what? No, we're not. We gotta go to Walmart later. What is this? Markers. I'm drawing your eyebrows on. With marker, dude? Yes, with markers. Then I'm not going to Walmart later. Michael, you have to. You're... Okay. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm, Michael! I'm just not even keeping this part of the vlog. Yeah, you are. I just can't believe I'm doing this. It feels like you're going like really high. No, I'm not. No, you're, you're definitely... No, I'm not. Please stop. Don't go high like that. <laughs> I'm not. It hurts when you do that. Okay, are we done? No. You're hurting me, dude. Please stop this. She's jabbing it into my face. Okay, got one color down. It looks really realistic. Okay, what is there? What is over here? Michael, let me just do this. I don't trust you. I don't have a flip thing, so I don't know what's happening to my face right now. Please just do it. Okay. Uh... Okay, I'm done with it. There's no eyebrow here! Yeah, there is! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> I, I can't... Oh my god! It looks good! It looks like nothing ever happened. I can't go to Walmart. Michael, yeah, you, you can though. You have to. This is the... What happened, dude? What? What? Come on. What happened? I thought I got Sharpies. That was, yeah, that was dry erase, I think. What? The hat must have taken it off. No. Yeah, look. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. Looks like I got normal eyebrows now. I just have to draw them on again. Look at me. No one knows anything's up. Hey, you have no eyebrows, so... Can it look like it? They don't to me. Whatever. This... whatever. 5,000 plushies. Only the best for my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's this me specials. Oh god, you're so cute. That's how easy it is to make Bridget think you're cute. Just go, dish me cute. Oh god, it really is so cute. Do it again. Do it cute though. Dish me cute. <laughs> oh my god. People yes, people are looking. We have to draw some more eyebrows onto my face because Bridget used dry erase marker. So do you have a better marker this time? Yes. Okay. Wait. 
What are you doing? <laughs> Those were not eyebrows. Oh. I can't see. What is that so? What is that? Bitch. It says bitch. Doesn't look like it. I start out the eye. Bitch. <laughs> Do the eyebrows. <laughs> How is this marker any better? I don't know. I hope it is though. It's getting in my eyeball, I think. <laughs> this is just... Oh, Come on, can we stop now? <laughs> ah! Look like a caveman! <laughs> oh my god, I'm not done! Okay, folks, it's that special time. It's time for me to make... One fourth of a cup Parmesan cheese. Some freshly cut parsley. One cup of fresh breadcrumb. Two teaspoons of oregano. One fourth a cup of milk. And two eggs. Now we start mixing it all together. Yes, I washed my hands. Okay, so when you roll the meatballs, Bridget, stop laughing. I really forgot I did that for a second. And <laughs> okay, when you roll the meatballs, you want them to about a size like this. And this is the question that I get the most often, not the eyebrows. The question that I get the most often, or at least most of the time, whenever I make these on camera, is why do I put them in raw? You can't eat raw meat, because I put the meatballs in the sauce raw. The reason I put them in raw is because this is going to simmer for like three hours. It's going to cook. So the sauce is going to cook, the meatballs are going to cook, it's going to be solid, and it's going to keep them moist while it cooks. Now check this out. You don't want to stir it right now. If I go to stir it right now, I'll rip the meatballs apart. So I do this. It softly stirs them, covers all the meatballs up with sauce, voila. What? I didn't know there's meatballs in there. And we have these meatballs. If you want to cook them in the oven too, you can do that too. So you preheat the oven to 425, pop them in, spray the pan. It feels really good in here. I'm exhausted, but damn it, let's get ready to eat some meat. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is get a King's Hawaiian hot dog bun, which I have right here. And I put a little bit of provolone cheese in there. So you can see that it is cooked inside because everybody's like, oh, it doesn't cook. So there you go. Cooked meatball. And it's extra soft. That's just one meatball, folks. And I cut it on the plate so I can dip it. Even though that wasn't my intentions, that's what I'll do. One little meatball cut down the center. Provolone cheese. Sauce is delicious. Hot. <laughs> Mmm. This is a celebration, babe. Oh, yeah. Thumbnail? <laughs> so, Bridget does not like the Hawaiian rolls with the meatballs. Why is not? Why not? You know, I don't even want to tell you because maybe you'll start thinking about it. Is it too sweet or? No, I just feel like the. Hawaiian rolls with the meatballs, it changes the flavor of the bread. Like, it doesn't taste sweet, but it tastes kind of like blood. Oh, God, no. But the meatballs are delicious. The yeah. sauce is really good. Well, let's make sure you... Did you try a meatball without the bread? Make yeah. sure... Okay, so it is the meatball. It's the bread. Okay, so it is the bread. Yeah. Well, what so, happened? Didn't, didn't you buy... I thought you bought sub rolls. We put those back. Because I was confident... With Hawaiian roll. I've had Hawaiian roll meatball sandwiches, so I love them. And I don't taste blood, but I probably will now, so thanks a lot. Try it. Now it's all I can taste. So now we're making pasta to go with it. Just kidding. I still love it. It's a little bit sweet. It's a good meatball. But Bridget wants some pasta with it because she don't like the bread. So that's what she's going to get. Now I'll show you how to kick it up a little bit to turn it into pasta. We're making two meals. So first we're going to start by adding some of our sauce base to this. And I will show you what to do next in just a second. I'm also including some meatballs into this. 
because this is a meatball sauce, folks. Now, some heavy whipping cream, and that's it. Just a tad. We add some whipping cream, and we whisk it into the sauce. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of the red sauce to the bowl. Not much. Just enough to get some extra flavor on that pasta. Now we take our pasta, and we put it in our bowl. Now some of our cream sauce. And we place some meatballs. Okay. Boom. Well, I just got done making the meatballs. And they're good. They're, they're very good. They're so good. They're very good. They cooked quicker than the three hours that I told you. Uh, they actually cooked in about an hour and a half. The way I said that reminded me of Quentin Tarantino on uh, <laughs> Pulp Fiction. Bonnie gets home in an hour and a half. Graveyard shift at the hospital. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Before I do, as I like to do, the little thing I did earlier, if you want to see the full clip, check this out. Why are we out here? That was my thought. <laughs> let's, do, let's fix this. Oh, no, dark. Uh, it's hot. Oh, I shelf my stuff. <laughs> Turn the light. Ready? That's how I did it. <laughs> Obviously, as if it was, you know, people were like, ah, he's magic. It wasn't even that perfect anyway. This one was kind of faltered a little bit. But that was it. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm super happy. I just realized my face is all jacked up. I just remembered that he still did the makeup thing. It really is. I just got to tell you, I didn't really think you're a bitch. Okay. okay. I didn't think you did. Well, I wrote it on your forehead. To be funny, I assumed. It was funny at the time. Now I just feel bad for you. I'd feel bad for me, too. I'm going <laughs> to get whatever I can all night. So, <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Thanks for watching. Let's see that meatballs clip one more time. Special thanks to Jim for coming up with the 3D portion of the logo. Thumbs up to Bridget for coming up with the falling meatballs. That was her idea. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, you guys. I look like a fool. The meatballs were good. We got cool air again. All is right with the world. Yes. And Dad is in the midst of being pranked. Yep. <laughs> okay. That was sick. <laughs>